Good morning, I'm Miss Bolanini and I get to talk with you about resurrection egg number eight. All right, so we're gonna find out what's in our egg in a minute, but I had a question for you first. Have any of you ever worn a crown? Like maybe it was your birthday, maybe you were king in a play or something, or maybe you just have a cute little uh, princess tiara that you like wearing around and you think it's really fun. Well, no matter what, we think of crowns as a positive thing. Like we think of them as royalty. We think of them as honoring somebody. Well, in today's story, the people did not use a crown like this or like a king's crown, but instead they made a crown of thorns for Jesus. And so we're gonna learn a little bit about that. So I'm gonna open up um, today. I have a paper Bible with me, but I'm also, I'm gonna read it off of my iPad. Um, today. So you can read the Bible off an iPad, off of the computer, or out of a book. As long as it's the Bible, it's still God's Word. And so I'm going to read from Matthew 27, verse 27 to 29, and you can follow along with your parents. So, then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole platoon before them. So all of the soldiers got together, and they stripped him and put scarlet robes on him. And then they twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand. And they knelt before him and mocking him saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And so the people at that time, they didn't really understand that Jesus really was a king, that he really does love us and that he is our king. And so they made him a fake crown and they kind of teased him and they made him a painful one. And they were like, oh, Jesus, you're a king, not really believing that he was. And so it was a mean thing that they were doing. But Jesus really does deserve a true crown because he is our real king. And so today we're gonna make a, uh, a crown of thorns to help us remember today's Bible story. And so if you have a pipe cleaner at home, you can cut one to about three inches and you can just wrap it up in a nice little circle and then you have your crown of thorns, just like that. But I know not everybody has a pipe cleaner at home, so I just went out into my backyard and I got a stick that's bendable. So as long as the stick is bendable, you can just kind of force it into a circle and it may not be perfect, but I bet Jesus's crown wasn't perfect either. And so you can just take this nice, soft, bendable stick and you can wrap it around in circles and you can start to make, like just twist it inside and outside of itself and start to make like a circle and a crown of thorns. See how spiky that would be? Yeah, and so Jesus wore a crown of thorns and we get to remember that. But we not only remember that he loved us so much that he was willing to wear that crown, but that he is our king and like a king wants to talk to his people, right? So his, Jesus is our king and he wants to talk to us and he wants to have a relationship with us right now. So it's not just the great news that he forgives us from our sins. It's also the fact that he's our king and he wants to be in relationship with us. So as we're getting ready for Easter, we have one week away. Uh, today is Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. Um, and so as we're getting ready for Easter, spend some time talking to him. Spend some time with Jesus and realizing how much he loves you. Okay? Have a wonderful day and tune in. And if you're doing this at home, send pictures on in. All right. Bye now.